So we're starting off a little bit back. Basically the same way we started off the last one. Just different angles. Oh, I like how the way that looks. Look creepy as fuck. This girl just looks unimpressed. Oh, suicide bomber, huh? Ooh, you lost an arm, what? <laughs> like she just like keeps it moving. Wait, so Aki saw all of that? Like he was staring at her directly when she just fully disappeared? Hey, yo. I mean, I guess you can say at least her last moments was spent looking at someone to cherish. Oof. The price she pays is her finger now to uh, take out the snake. That looks kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. That looks kind of funny. <laughs> She even has snake eyes and everything. Power dipped. I don't blame her. It's self-preservation at the end of the day. Fight or flight. Uh, this is Jimeno's last will and testament. Wake up, Denji. Big words. Oh, this is a <laughs> episode three ending music again. Talk your shit, Denji. Nah. <laughs> Alright, this is it then. Katana Man versus Chainsaw Man. Now that was nice. Oh, this is gonna go to intro. Damn, Aki is out of it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was gonna go to intro. <laughs> I mean, that price is pretty small to use that big ass thing. Damn, Aki is just distraught. Okay. Then she's putting in work. That was to say, he missed him with that. Ooh. He's pushing Denji back. Where did they come from? <laughs> she asked for a backup and they just speed blitz over there. Yo, knee to the head. Okay, kick to the face. Oh, I like this. It looks very, it's very dynamic in the way that they did this. Oh my God. <laughs> the people's elbow. They don't care about that dude, bro. Yeah, I was to say, they don't care about him. Come on now. We're the bad guys. Aw, oh, shit. He's going to do the same thing he did to Aki. Speed Blitz City, bro. Speed Blitz the fuck out of Denji. Cut them both in half, bro. I feel sorry for the other dude, though. <laughs> not really, though. Yo, Denji did not even stand a chance. Not even a minute in fighting. I can't win against America. They call this the freedom. Oh, wow. Oh, that's old boy. He got shot in the neck. Damn, man. She got killed. Is that her brains? Or is that this is the gravel? So two people survived. It looks like. Uh, Kobene and the guy who was with her. Because there was they were in groups of two. She's back up like nothing. We didn't even get to see how she killed him. <laughs> oh, those are all the people who were watching. <laughs> I mean, at least they didn't kill some like random civilians, right? I mean. Yeah. She's lying about that. Did he have like holes in them? Was she dick them down? What the fuck? 
<laughs> it is kind of crazy. She's walking around with blood all over her right now. You know, this is mad casual for uh, <laughs> getting them, right? Like, Dingy's getting taken right now. Are these all the gun people? Yeah, I'll, I'll join them. They got snacks and shit. <laughs> oh, never mind. This might be the convicts. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, last meal. That's what that is. <laughs> That's a last meal. That's why they got snacks and shit in there. God. I know a lot of fans right there. I love that ass shot anyways. I think it speaks more to Makima. Like, she's very casual about this. And they're already dealing with Denji right now. But she's taking her sweet time knowing that she can just do something. Damn, she's still looking at her finger now. It's bothering her. The crow? What the hell's up with him? Oh! Well, that was abrupt. <laughs> That's that Luca shit right there. Or better yet, Junji Ito, the um, the tree that was swatting people from like m thousands of miles away. Oh, he, he, God damn! Is that a way to die? The birds are there too. Oh, she looks so happy. Is she so casual about this? Oh, that's gonna happen to this dude too. It's like they can see it happening. Like what's ca like what's it what's grabbing their attention? Oh. Oh, she's like twisting them. What the fuck? Man, they got some nice ass shots, and I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Bro. This dude, too. You can't even run. Like, how can you even get away from that? Yo. She's killing them at the same time it's killing them. Like, what the fuck? What, what is that going to do? Like, what are you doing? There's just no help here, brother. Yeah, this is this is just like Junji Ito. The demonic tree that ends up swatting people who tastes its nectar. I think that's where he got this from. That's why she used convicts. They're dead, too. She just chilling. <laughs> this is an average day, bro. Yeah, obviously not, bro. Dingy still cut in half. <laughs> Why does she look like that? She had that. Oh, we fucked, lace. Who was that? Baby motherfucking girl. All that trash talk. Oh. Oh, she had a bad shot then. She shot him in the neck. Instead of shooting him in the head right off rip, she would have killed both. This is why you don't trust old ladies with their work. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He sacrificed himself though. She's so quiet. Uh uh. Colvin, eh? Oh my god, they are really showing out for her right now. Jimeno said she got the moves, took his arm off. 
and grabbed the gun, shot this nigga. Oh, yo. Yo, Kabene is quick as fuck. Yo, this man is feeling it right now. Damn, Kabene got precision as fuck. Mm. They end up getting away, but she got dingy. That's for all the fucking Kobene haters out there. I really like the way that they did that. That shit looked crazy. It looked like she was bouncing off of buildings and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? She forgot to apologize last time. Yo, she's crazy. Uh, she's breaking down because he saved her. Ooh. She is quick as fuck. Damn. Hardly even got to know you. That's why I never remember his name. Like, he's barely even in it. Yeah, it is. Well, you'll never see her. Man, imagine her, though. Like, if she went with the other industry, she would have been throwing it back crazy. Like, goddamn. Oh, this dude survived. He's the other one who, la who survived. All underneath her. And she just has this that look on her face. I don't blame him. Bitch, did you see what just happened? Everybody's dead. <laughs> yeah, it's like everyone's dead, dude. What the fuck? There's no remorse. Like, even the other ones in the back are like, yeah, this is kind of fucked up right now. Like, goddamn. Yeah, you're not privy to that information anymore. He should have asked that question beforehand. Did you know about this? Alright, I resign. Like, you know. Cause essentially is like classified information, but she's kind of telling you like when they say that shit to you, they kind of already knew. It's crazy how this one attack gave her all this power. Jeez, bro, that episode went by so quick. But first things first, fuck the Kobene haters. Who's standing up right now? It's her, bitch. Everybody else is in the motherfucking dirt. <laughs> but, um, excellent episode. We get to see part of Makima's power. Um, obviously, there's some sort of connection between her and the birds because they saw the birds. And then all of a sudden, there was birds lined up with her for some apparent reason. Um, but damn. Damn. This is a good continuation of the last episode. There's not really too much to say about this. Kabene showed off. She shined. But of course, like she said, this is affecting her so much in this job. It's driving her crazy. You see her crying and also laughing at the same time through Guy's death because he protected her at the end of the day and you know people call her useless if you want to but she showed out she got dingy back and kept it moving essentially they didn't get their prize but we did lose him and oh we did lose a lot of people that we just met uh two people survived the gunfire but you know that's not enough old dude resigned Kobene's talking about wanting to leave the job also power just straight up dipped and i'm not really mad at power for doing that because she said before i can't follow his movements so she knew she was going to get fucked up so at that point it's just fight or flight like what are you going to do you know 
So I don't blame her too much onto that spectrum of just dipping, but damn, bro. This was a really good episode. <laughs> How it went. They had, oh man, they had them sweating. Like, um, like I was saying before, when it came to Makima's power, obviously this must be inspired by Junji Ito. Um, I forgot what story it's called, but it's basically a devil tree that somebody got some nectar from it at some point in time he brings it back home to japan and when people eat it it's like you have to eat it a certain way and if you don't eat it a certain way you end up getting smashed <laughs> like on the ground and it's it's just like that um man it was really good that's all I really have to say about that. I can't wait for the next episodes. Everything just popping off. Like a lot of people talking about, oh, it's kind of slow with Chainsaw Man. Like, look, we are just going to be rushing ahead from this point on. And we only have a few episodes left. And this is going to pop off even more. Either way, this is KYND. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that other good shit. And I'm out. Peace.